Alrighty, howdy, howdy, guys. It's Mitch or Mitch with 1-0 back with another Wonderlands guide. And today, we're talking about this beautiful melee weapon, otherwise known as the Mage Staff. So here we have the Mage Staff, otherwise known in my case as the Initiating Mage Staff of Cleaving. Now, this is a swift manufactured legendary melee weapon with 0.96 swings per second, 11% crit chance, and 120% crit damage. Now, this will always come with the static Mage Staff perk, which is melee attacks grab the three fishes that seek out nearby enemies, dealing up to 110% weapon damage as spell damage. And if you shoot at multiple fishes, that damage is split between those multiple fishes. Now, let's see this in action. I've only recently got this weapon since the new patch, so I'm not too sure if it was hidden before, because I've never seen it before, so I'm not too sure about its interactions. But, when swinging this bad boy, it shoots out a super cool fissure that does damage on contact, but as you can see, the fissure keeps going behind and can damage multiple enemies in one swing. And now, it does a little bit more damage, but all the damage done with the fissure is converted into spell damage. Now, I'm not too sure if you buff your melee damage, this fissure will then increase in spell damage, or if you buff your spell damage, this will increase alone. But I would love to see what you can do. Sadly, I don't have a spell build and I can't work out much with it. But let's go hit some crabs. Alrighty, if we go so high to the crabs, we send a few swings out. With a non-melee or non-spell build, it is kind of average, as you can see. And I am on the floor. I'm back up. But, in a group, potentially with a spell build, you can see you can cleave multiple enemies with these fissures. As well as actually meleeing with them. So, in conjunction with having a melee swing and a fissure, both hitting at close range, you'll also have a long range fissure. And it seems the fissures from this weapon will travel down to whatever terrain so they can travel along the floor. As opposed to traveling straight in the air or straight in a line. Now, I'm not too sure about the strength of this weapon. As I said, I don't have the perfect build for it. But if any of you guys out there have a spell build or have a specific melee build, I'd love to see what you can do it. But how do you get it? Sadly, this weapon is a world drop only melee weapon. I personally got mine from a badass drop and I'm going to put out a video very, very soon of what I think the best um, legendary farming is and where you can find the most badasses to drop things. But it is a world drop only. If you're not farming badasses, I'd recommend farming the bath bunnies within the chaos chambers. Go as high as you're comfortable with and spam that melee bath bunny at the end. And as always guys, if you found the video helpful, if you found it useful, found it entertaining, drop a like, drop a sub. Comment if you'd like this weapon, if you'd find it interesting, if you'd find it useful, what you think of it. Because I think it's pretty dope, but sadly don't have the build to see its true potential. As always, stay safe, don't drown, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.